So these are tabs. Now, okay. governing, if, if you're going to virtualize it, you insert a layer of software in here called a, a virtual machine monitor, right? sometimes going by the name of hypervisor or some of these other things. And that what that does is it abstracts the OSs away from the platform hardware. Okay. So the things that the, the, the difference, what's different between software, where, where software-based virtualization, you can buy these products today. This could be Parallels, you could be this VMware. Um, and what they do is, is insert themselves here and they capture all the hardware calls from these operating systems and then you provide an intermediation layer between the actual hardware resources in the OS. And what that does is it breaks the tight coupling that the, the OS usually has to the hardware. Yeah. So now it, it traps all of those and intermediates it. So now it can provide your know, hardware resources to each one of these, uh, these virtual machines. These things are completely unaware that the other one is, is there. Unless, of course, the VMM is telling them it's there. Permit it. For example, I may permit cut and paste from a low security partition to a high security partition. And how but, I would, but I would prohibit the other way. How do you how do you configure this? This is high security. That's this all. Is, that's all done. It's all done in the, that part. Is all the policy is all set in the VMM. Okay. That's where those guys. What we are providing. What Intel is providing. One. When you launch this VMM, if spyware or a virus or something got into this, all your, your all your software based security, your antivirus, anti spyware stuff runs up inside these partitions, and these this wall is the limit of their visibility, right? So they can't see what's going on down here. They they can't protect the VMM layer. What we've done with trusted execution technology is build in hardware based checks to make sure that when you launch this VMM, it is exactly what you expect it to be. So what you do when you first load this VMM on the system, you know, the, off the, the manufacturer's CD, you take a measurement of it, it's called you know, a hash, a hash, hash algorithm, you familiar with those? Yeah. And so it'll take a measurement and it'll create a value, and that's like your checksum, and it'll store it and protect that value with hardware. Now, every time you launch this VMM, you measure it again. And if it is exactly what you expect it to be, the, measure, the, the measurements will change. If some spyware or, or other kind of malicious software got in here and changed it, the values will be different and you would not launch the VMM. And, and, and so where is that check uh, stored? Is it stored in... It, is you have like a memory? A special it, yeah, memory? There's, a, there's a combination of things. So, so the, the place where the check values are stored and the comparisons are made is actually in a trusted platform module, so which is an industry standard piece of hardware, you know, TPM 1.2. Mm -hmm. But the, the, uh, the launch process, the hands-off between the, you know, the base BIOS to the chipset to the processor to the memory, all of that is handled by trusted execution technology. We use a TPM in the system to handle certain secure key operations and hashing operations. Um, but a lot of that, a lot of the work is being done by, by TXT. So where, where is a virtual appliance? Now, what would be a virtual appliance is just a particular use model of virtualization. So in this model, you know, if this one is say you know Windows you know XP and this yeah. one is Windows Vista, and, and, the, and the virtual appliance in a sense that Symantec is taking is talking about this virtual right uh, service, right security. So, in one model you have two version two OSs or you have two instances of, of Windows that you're just keeping separate. Right. And these are full blown user environments. I can interact and do stuff in this one. I can interact and do stuff with this one. The virtual appliance model. All it says is that you only have one virtual machine that you interact with. The only one that you see when you're interacting with your computer is what's going on over in here. What's going on over here in the second virtual machine is you have a very specific, um, a very specific security application. So it's say like intrusion prevention, and this is what Semantic is building, and. What happens is that the way that the, the VM, and when you buy a virtual appliance, the thing that is bundled on the CD that you buy is this whole thing. 
So instead of buying a VMM from Parallels, an OS from Microsoft or a Linux distributor and an application from another vendor, the whole package comes bundled as a single piece of software. So it's one install and one support structure for you. Um, now, this VMM is not as heavyweight as a Parallels VMM. Parallels will grab everything. It'll grab graphics, networking, USB, memory, all of that stuff is virtualized. What, what's different about the lightweight VMM that's in a virtual appliance is the only thing it traps and redirects is network traffic. So network traffic will go in here, it'll get trapped by the VMM, get sent up to the virtual appliance, and in this case it'll be inspected for known intrusion attempts or known patterns for that, that would be judged malicious. And everything if everything's okay, you know, it's sent over to the user's partition. And then the process also goes in reverse. But everything else, like graphics and, and, and hard drive traffic and memory traffic, passes right through it. So it, it you know, when it sees graphics traffic, it just it you know, passes it passes it through, but network traffic it'll grab and divert through the through only the, the network line. traffic. Only the network traffic. What's the loading process? So you, you know the the hardware would come up. We would initiate you know, a hardware based we call a chain of trust, a series of trusted transactions. So you, you you execute a trusted transaction. So you securely boot the system. You securely load the BIOS. You securely load the VML, you know, and then you start loading um, the, the virtual machines on top of it. So you build, you know, I just take one step and I know that it's trusted. So I take, since that step is trusted, I can initiate the next step, and that's trusted. And so you can build this chain on a... If you have, if you have a, just a base system, so you know, the system that you buy from a typical OEM would be... <laughs> that's okay, that's fine. ...would be vPro, and then you'd have a single OS. Right. Right. That that's what you buy from the OEM. Yeah. Now, if you wanted to, now it depends on what do you want to do. Do I, do you want to run Windows and Linux side by side? What you would do is you would go out and buy um, something like Parallels. You know, what are their their VMM packages, and you install it on your PC. And what it's going to do, it's going to install itself right there. And then, you know, now for the sake of my drawing here, I'm going to make this smaller. Now you can have, you know, Windows here and Linux here. Right. So that's the that's how you would do that one. Now, if if say you went and bought the Symantec um, virtual appliance, you know, you would what you would get is you would now get this thing that is like this other drawing that I made here, where you get the lightweight VMM. This is going to be like the, the math no. channel on, no, on no, public no, no, access. No, no, no. So you get the lightweight VMM, you get the embedded OS that's part of the appliance, and you get the application all in one piece of software. And that installs you know, right next to your, you know, your Windows Right. And, operating and, and system. You can't do right now is to coexist these two things. You cannot do it. Right, because the VMMs essentially require I need to be in yeah. control of the system in order to assure that I'm doing things correctly. So you can't say for example run parallel simultaneously with another another virtualized application just like you couldn't run uh, you know VMware in parallels on the same system at the same time. So, so how are you going to solve this? I mean, once Symantec well, is is going to release, I'll tell you what. I'll solve that problem when I have you know hundreds of thousands of these units installed. Yeah, right. You know, and we've got, there's technology to allow multiple virtual appliances, and we're you know, we're continuing to develop that as part of our roadmap. Mm -hmm. But like I said, that's a problem I need to solve later. The the one that we want to you know, help solve today is to show the the value and the benefits of using virtualization to solve these kind of business problems. Okay.